Welcome friends in Get Set Go. Today we will learn about the memory organization and in this video I will show you the introduction and basic fundamentals of memory organization. Memory organization contain three different type of memory. Cache memory, main memory, disk memory. The cache memory is small in terms of size. Main memory is larger than cache memory and disk memory is larger than main memory cache memory is fastest among all the um, different memory and main memory is faster than disk memory but slower comparison to the cache memory disk memory is the slowest memory system we are having here uh, now i will tell you how these different memories are connected with each other and how these memories are connected with processor consider this is a processor processor is connected with cache memory cache memory is connected with main memory and main memory is connected with disk memory and the data transfer is done among this uh, memory and processor with the help of data bus now the thing that should be noticed uh, in this architecture is there is no direct connection from the processor to main memory or from processor to disk memory so if we want to access or we can say that processor want to access the data item that is present in main memory first of all that data item should be transferred from main memory to cache memory and from the cache memory processor can access that data item similarly with disk memory if we want to access any data item that is stored in disk memory first of all we have to transfer that data item from disk memory to main memory then from main memory to cache memory and after transferring the data item from main to cache the processor can access that data item from cache memory well um, the important thing in this architecture is uh, this part the connection between cache memory and main memory so if we want to improve the performance of this system uh, we should focus uh, over this part so um, i'll zoom this part and uh, we'll discuss more about it so this is cache memory and this is main memory main memory and cache memory are nothing but the collection of memory cells what is memory cell memory cell is a smallest unit of storing or retrieving the data the size of memory cell is represented by one word the word size may be 8 bit 16 bit or 4 byte that depends upon the system in general memory cell is called of size one word now each and every word or each and every memory cell is distinguished differently it means there are there is a unique identity of each and every memory cell and this identity is given by a number and this number are called as address the address number are the facility by which we can digitally find the particular memory cell and access the data which are required processor always deals with the physical address space that is main memory address space but it always read or write in a cache memory uh, let me explain it by an example mm, consider that we are writing a program in certain programming language and the program is compiled and finally converted into a uh, machine language so in machine language if we have used any memory element in our program then machine language will issue certain addresses now this addresses are of physical address I mean this is uh, the address of main memory uh, but a processor is always fetching or storing data from the cache memory uh, we have discussed this architecture earlier and so we can say that this is the processor there is no direct line from main memory to processor and consider that is here is the data item and this one is its address so this is data item this is its address now processor wanted 
and we have two situation here first one if the same data item is available in cache memory and this is its cache address so there should be some mechanism by which we can convert this physical address into that cache address this mechanism is called address mapping another problem during this process is consider that data is present in a main memory but the same data item is not present in the cache memory so that will cause the cache miss and from main memory that data item has to transfer to cache memory and from the cache memory the processor can access it so this is the these are the two problem one is address mapping that is physical address to cache memory's address and the second is the cache miss if required data is not in the cache then it has to import from main memory to deal with the address mapping we have three solution that is direct mapping associative mapping and set associative mapping now consider that this is physical address as i have shown that this physical address will travel or will be thrown to some address mapping mechanism now this address mapping mechanism will give us two result so if this address mechanism address mapping mechanism got succeed it will generate the cache memory address of that particular data item but if there is miss in cache field means there is no uh, not same data item present in that cache memory that will be cache miss so it should import from main memory now before going further in mapping techniques uh, first of all we have to learn about the block system the block is another unit of data transfer which is used in a memory or a address mapping mechanism now a memory block what is memory block memory block is nothing but collection of several memory words or memory cell here you can see that this is main memory and this is cache memory and this is uh, memory cell and these are memory block in this example the size of memory block is four words so now as memory cell uh, should be differently identified and that's why we have used memory address for this facility likewise memory block should be differently identified and that's why we will give the block index to memory block so here we are giving 0 1 2 3 and 4 uh, these are numbers and this number will give the block index that means this one is this one is a zeroth block this one is first this second third fourth normally the index number starts from zero and this one is cache index so, so this is a cache block uh, and the index number of this block is zero and index number of this block is one the main reason why we are using this block structure is this block structure is a unit of data transfer that means uh, in memory or address mapping if uh, there is need to transfer data from main memory to cache memory the data will be transferred in terms of block so that's it uh, that's all for introduction basics and fundamental and thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video then please share subscribe and obviously like this video thank you very much